Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, today in the kitchen, I'm privileged to not only be cooking with our resident foodie, Clem Pedro, but also a very exciting up-and-coming chef. Now, before we get started, though, let's get to know him a little better. In the Western Cape Winelands town of Pal lives a young boy who loves motorbikes, rugby and most of all, cooking. And while his friendly smile can light up any room, it also speaks of the strength of a child who is not like any other seven-year-old. Gordon was actually a very playful, loving and excited kid. Very funny also. Loves to play always outside. We were always close, like stone, stone art. He will not run to his daddy with something. <laughs> he really comes to me, run to me. Jordan was starting to breathe very heavily, yeah? and his heartbeat was too fast. You can see it through a T-shirt. And he was very sleepy, got tired easily. That's when I started to notice that he was not there, something's wrong. That was 2014, November. October. October. Yeah, he was diagnosed with uh, parvo, it's a virus that uh, affected his heart and it made his heart 25%? 20% 20% uh, bigger on the one side. And just last year, he was diagnosed with uh, tachyasis arteritis. Uh, tachyasis uh, arteritis causes Jordan to have abdominal pain and cramps in his legs and he's getting tired very quickly. Jordan's blood vessels are easily inflamed, particularly his aorta and main arteries, which affect the blood flow from his heart to the rest of his body. His parents were given a devastating prognosis. And in 2014, two, two years ago, the doctors give us only 12 months with Jordan. They actually call him now a miracle child. And I must say, we're actually very proud of Jordan because he's actually very strong for a child in his age. What is he now, seven years old? Yeah, he <laughs> made me very proud because I'm actually, I'm busy raising not a child, but a friend. <laughs> I actually um, have grown stronger, especially in God, because he showed me what he's capable of doing is here with us and because it should have been worse today you can say it could have been gone already even there was one time when we was in hospital and that was actually the same time when the doctor said mommy daddy we had something to tell you about Jordan may you will only have maybe less than 12 months 12 months most and on that day the sister came over and he was singing my God is so hard, so stark and so matter. Like and loud. It's like he believes, so I believe also. He motivates me and I think... So then it's... I don't know what I will do, I just... Despite the hardships, the family continues to be positive and encourage Jordan to be his happy self. They may not know how much time he has with his family, but they support his dreams and interests, the biggest being food. I think the reason he's using cooking is me. I expire <laughs> because he always says my mommy make like a food. Jordan's greatest wish was to emulate those he watches and be a TV chef. He wanted to have the opportunity to prepare his favorite dish with the lights, cameras and action of the Afternoon Express loft and today, that wish comes true. And there you have it, our new chef, Jordan Martin. Welcome, are you happy to be in the kitchen with us today? Yes. And now we're going to be making a pizza. Was this by your special request? Yes. Do you love pizza? His very, very own much? barbecue yes. chicken pizza. His okay. recipe as well. Amazing. So Do you know, you... I love pizza more than most people. <laughs> 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 so should we get going? You're gonna teach me how to make the pizza? And what his first job is, he's going to roll out the base because that's the most important part of a pizza. Exactly. So he's got his ball of dough and his flour and his rolling pin and he's going to go. So you're going to give me a nice big round pizza. You're going to start rolling out for me? Well, while you're doing that, we're going to get started on the toppings. Okay. So 
that's all the hard work done. We can actually leave right now. Oh, Jordan, look, look at, at that, your muscles. Look at that, flexing. <laughs> okay, so, um, I've planned, I'm not going to do anything today. I'm going to yeah. leave it to the professionals. Except I'm just gonna Friday, step we need to take a chill day. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I need you to make our pasta sauce and go. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're to make a, a good tomato, pasta sauce. We're making a, a, a pizza sauce, sorry. We're making a raw, <laughs> a raw um, tomato sauce, which okay. is amazing because it's the weekend. And no one wants to start, spend so much time stirring over the stove, making that tomato sauce. So we're going to make a fresh one. Okay, great. And what you're going to start off with is a tomato garlic. sauce needs. Did you just say garlic? Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> really? Just go for it. Okay. Is that what it is? Well, yes. Well, okay, fantastic. It's what a, am I well, we're going to pop it into the, oh. into the blender. It's raw. <laughs> Everything's raw today. Oh, divine. So, I do um, love the raw food movement. Tomatoes. Okay. All the tomato paste. And there's your spatula to help you get it in there. Yes. So the tomatoes at the moment are not as juicy and red as um, they normally would be during tomato season. So we're exactly. adding tomato paste just to bring through that tomato flavor. Yeah. And um, so you can, you've got your garlic, your tomato paste, now your, your tomatoes. Just chuck them all in. Okay. Jordan, you are doing an amazing job. You're doing <laughs> so well. Are we, are we doing things right so far for you, for your pizza? Is Jeannie doing it right? I, oh, okay, I, good. Okay. No pressure for me. Oh. I'm under the watchful eye of our chef. Okay. Um, basil, just yes. to bring some extra um, dimension of flavor. Also, the barbecue glaze we're using is quite sweet and sticky. The basil just cuts through all of that and makes it a little fresher. Okay. I'll, I'll go in with the salt salon. Salt, a little pepper, if you can do a little olive oil. Sure. That's this little black one over here. Okay. Little bit Oops, of olive salt oil. everywhere. Oops, there you go. There you go. Lid on. And that's our sauce. Yes! Let's okay, go a little this more is easy. to bring it all together. Okay, great. As for Jordan's request. Love more olive oil. Ugh. You go for it. Thank you. And you might need to give it a shake just to get everything down there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get the pan on and we're gonna start making our chicken. Okay. So let Jordan, me just... how are you going over there? You want to see if you get the pan on. Oh, pan is off. No, this needs more of a shake because you know the garlic's what? Sticking shake to the it. It's, it's the weekend exercise. <laughs> if Tom Cruise could do it in cocktail, <laughs> I can do it today. <laughs> Let me just come over this side to grab some chicken. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Jordan, how's that going over there? Good. Yeah, Good. Fine. Good. That's looking amazing as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm using chicken thighs today because Jordan says he prefers the thighs because they're juicier and more tender. The chicken breasts do tend to dry out, especially if you're doing it. You're cooking it now, and it's going to go back in the oven again so it cooks again. Chances okay. are it might go dry. We're using the thighs, which will stay super juicy and moist. Oh, Is that, Jordan? Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Yes, okay, great. <laughs> so get the, the thighs in there, and then you're going to leave it for about a minute on the side just to get that, that crust on there. You don't need to cook it all the way through. Okay. We're going to pour in our barbecue sauce. So let's give it a few more seconds. You can see it's starting to heat exactly. up. And your sauce, uh, even though you haven't taken the lid off, I can smell it. And that's good. Yeah, this is great. You don't want a pizza sauce that's too watery either. No. You've got to have it quite chunky, I think. So, everything's looking great. So let's finish up the chicken. Once it's nice and caramelized, we're going to add in that barbecue sauce, glaze it. You've got the sauce done. Jordan's got his pizza base rolled up. It's looking great. So we're going to come back later and we're going to finish up this recipe by assembling the pizza and getting it out the oven. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well, Friday is Pizza Day here on Afternoon Express and you can cook along with us. All you need to do is visit our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, for all these fantastic ingredients and, of course, our recipe. But for now, Bonang is on the couch with our next guest. Back in the kitchen making glorious pizzas with our very special chef Jordan Martin today on Afternoon Express. And now we've already worked on the base, we've already created our sauce, and now what is the next step? So Jordan says the next step. Now we've got our base, we've got this amazing sauce that you've made. Thank we've you. We've got to get that onto the base first. Jordan, amazing job in rolling out that pizza base. Yes. So because it's a raw sauce and it's not as punchy as the cook down, these are all Jordan's notes, by the way, so I'm just... Um, <laughs> because we're not, we haven't cooked down the sauce, it's not as intense in tomato flavour, so we're going to be a bit generous with it, we're going to give a little more. Yes, I love that idea. More is always more on a pizza, I And find. especially if it's, if, it's, <laughs> if it's a healthy ingredient, why not? Exactly. So, next step is the chicken. So, oh, I was told... I was told, do not chop the chicken too, too small. Keep it quite chunky. Why are you going to keep it chunky? Like, isn't it, doesn't it, I mean, I'm just trying to think of when you're biting through a pizza, there's going to be so much chunk in that, but that's quite nice, hey? Yeah, you just yes, answered he your has. question. Oh, because I was fantasizing about it in my mind while I was looking at that gloriously barbecue -y chicken going on the pizza base. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, chunky is best when it comes to this type of pizza. It's a smaller pizza, so we're going to 
amp up the toppings. Yes. And that little bit of extra barbecue glaze that we've got in the pan, just drizzle that over. Oh, of course. That's, that's, that just looks crazy. Jordan, this is one seriously good recipe. Are you excited to eat it? I yeah. think oh, all are. I can I see think that all sweet little smile. <laughs> so Jordan said no normal mozzarella is going to do for this one. He wants buffalo mozzarella. And yes. the best quality buffalo mozzarella. And all he says we got to do is just tear it. And again, chunks of it. Yeah. Massive chunks. So you're literally going to get a mouthful of cheese, a mouthful of chicken. Oh. That's exactly what you said, right? That's exactly <laughs> what you said. And that's the idea about keeping all the ingredients whole and chunky. Exactly. That's going to go into the oven. If you're using a fan-assisted oven, whack it up to the highest temperature with the grill on. That'll cook in about seven minutes. If you're not using a fan-assisted oven, try and get a pizza stone or even turn your baking tray upside down and heat that up first. And that'll be about 10 minutes. So, excellent. like if I asked Jordan, made one. <laughs> I'll take that to put it in the oven just now. And this is the one that he made. And you can see what I mean. Look how the cheese has melted in certain spots. Exactly. So you've got sauce, cheese, and a little bit of chicken. And we're going to finish it off with basil. Amazing. And look, Jordan, you even made yours in a little heart shape. In a little shape. heart shape. Well how amazing done. is that? Jordan, you are too skilled. I, I need to be really scared. I think my job's on the line here. Yeah. I, I think so too. <laughs> <gasps> okay, okay, let's cut, cut this Let's baby get. up. Okay. Pizza Fridays. Pizza every day. Oh, that is amazing. Because I am so not giving some <laughs> even some size pieces here. No, but that's good. Pizza doesn't have to be cut in the right no. triangle. I mean, traditionally it's in squares, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. That's a little hot. Okay. What, do you want to try? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Yes. Okay. Do you want to take the first one? You might have to blow it if it's a little bit hot. It might be a little hot. Let me put the knife that side for you. You got a piece? I've got a piece. Should we taste? You got it. Might use both hands. Just grab the end of it. It might be a little hot <laughs> to bite the tip. There we go. Taste. Let me know. Do we do justice? Do, do we do we do a good job? Is it a little too hot? Oh, is it good? This is glorious. Talk to me. Tell me something. High five. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> okay. It's, we won. We won. me hanging. <laughs> Yay! So I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that. I'm out of here. Peace out. I'm on the Pizza joking. out. You, uh. you. <laughs> this is absolutely delicious. Remember, you can be part of the fun as well. All you need to do is visit our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, and make this for dinner tonight because you will not regret it. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for coming through and cooking for this for us. I mean, it's amazing. It's the best pizza I've ever had. <laughs> right now, though, Lakota Silver performs in the loft after the break. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.